What is up everybody? My name is Shaylin and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're doing a very different like style type video. I'm actually going to be taking you around different parts of my apartment and doing like random miscellaneous things that you wouldn't really think you need like a special trick to do with one hand and doing them for you. So let's get started. Oh, also welcome to another episode of How To Hemiplegia. I think I'm just gonna call this one like How To Hemiplegia Randoms or like miscellaneous things or something like that because I don't really know what to call these miscellaneous random type things that I'm gonna be showing you guys. So anyway, I'm going to be taking you guys to my bathroom and I'm gonna be showing you how I put toothpaste on a toothbrush. Let's go. So if you guys were ever wondering why I don't film in my bathroom, it has amazing lighting. It has lights like right above the mirror, which is amazing for filming, but obviously you can hear the stinking fan in here is so damn loud and it won't shut up. So it just goes on automatically when I turn the light on. So. Filming in here is not really an option usually, so hopefully you guys will be able to hear me. Let's do it. So actually, I'm going to show you guys this other thing first because I usually do this before I like do any skincare or brush my teeth anyway. So I'm going to show you guys how I put my hair up in a claw clip. Um, so by claw clip, I mean like these big claw clips. Not like, I have these little tiny ones like this that I use for like half up, half down in your styles, but I'm talking about these big papas. <laughs> kind of similar to how I do any other hair style that I've shown on my YouTube channel so far. I'm gonna grab my hair, get it all behind me. Um, I'm gonna basically just like make one of those big twists that I did to make the bun in my hair. Um, except a little bit different. So first start off by doing the twist, just like this. Okay. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is like put it upwards, pull up so it's like, <laughs> like that, but like make it a little bit looser. And then I pinch it on the corner of the counter. So here, grab the clip. And I'm gonna open it and place it near the base. Squeeze it in the hair and then boom. And if you want it to look cuter, I just kind of like play with it until the hair looks not super crazy, but yeah, kind of just makes it look like a shorter ponytail, especially if you have longer hair. You can kind of see in that mirror over there. It looks cute. Okay, now let's brush my teeth. <laughs> so. Rinse it, put toothpaste on, and then rinse it again, and then pop it in. So, first, let's rinse it. Then, to open up a toothpaste cap, I basically grip it with my three fingers and the like meaty part of my thumb, and then I use my thumb and my index finger to kind of do one of those <laughs> to get it off, and then. To get it on the toothbrush, this is the funny part. Stick it in my mouth and then put it on. I'll show you. And normally I'll just start brushing my teeth after I rinse it again, but for right now I'm just gonna twist this back on. And then I just put it down on the counter, by the way. like. Like that, if you can see that. So, rinse it again. 
So while we're on the topic of teeth, normally for flossing, people use a string and, you know, get in there with string, but for me, the obvious, I don't know if this is obvious, but I can't use anything other than like a floss pick or anything that's like stretched across already like this. This is the only thing that I can use, so. And so normally for flossing with the picks, I just kind of like place it right on top of the crack that I want it to go in and I bite down. However, for the rest of the video, I'm not going to keep this clip in. I'm going to take it out. So. Why'd that make me dizzy? There is one more thing that I want to show you guys while I'm in here, and that is a hair towel. Actually, I'm going to insert a clip of that when I'm like straight out of the shower, how I put a hair towel in. So I will insert that right now. How to unscrew a cap with one hand. <laughs> oh lordy, okay. So what you're gonna need is two knees and a rubber glove and whatever you're opening. <sighs> what I like to do to crack the seal once the seal is cracked, it's all smooth sailing from there. So you're gonna wanna pinch it between your knees, take any rubber glove. There's things that you can buy on Amazon that's like a perfect circle for doing this with a rubber, like silicone material. But I just have rubber gloves, so basically you're gonna take, you can put this on too actually, maybe that would be easier. Um, you can put the rubber glove on, but I, if I'm in a hurry, I usually just use like the bottom part of it. But basically, it's gonna pinch it between your knees or your thighs and get a really good grip on it and turn as hard as you can, but make sure you don't squeeze the crap out of the bottle like I just did. Because <laughs> then you're gonna have whatever's in the bottle all everywhere. It's better to like push in a downward motion so that you can not have to squeeze the bottle so hard. Okay, it's open. And now I have to clean up all this Gatorade. Great. Oh my God, okay. I have to clean this up. Now that I showed you guys how to crack a sealed bottle cap, I guess, um, I'm gonna show you how to unscrew it while it's already easy to open. So, making sure that it's not wet and I have more leverage to grip it with my fingers. Basically, what you're gonna do, I'm gonna put my knee up so I have like a little surface. It's like the same thing as the toothpaste cap basically grip the bottle with these three fingers and then take my thumb and my index just kind of push like that and then usually I'll just hold it like that and take a sip which tastes awful after you brush your teeth don't do that and then I just kind of keep holding it like that and I place it back on and screw it back on just like that and it's sealed okay next this is kind of like a silly thing that you guys probably think is self-explanatory, but I'm gonna show you guys how to plug in a phone to charge. <laughs> oh my 
god, I'm sorry if you hear this stool squeaking. It's like the worst thing in the world. You probably have heard it since my first video, but I'm sorry about that. So currently I'm filming on my phone, so I had to grab our extra phone that we use as a backup if we need it. Show you guys this, but basically this is the phone. This is the charging cord. Usually I don't like to do this on like a hard surface. I'll do it on like a cloth surface. So I'm just gonna use like a, the dishcloth that I used to wipe up the Gatorade. <laughs> um, so that I have a little bit of friction and softness. Um, but basically I locate where the charging hole is, which is right there. Just put the charger in the hole while it's laying down. And then I lift it up while it's in there, put it on the top and push down. And there you go, it's charging. <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry if the quality has changed or I sound different or anything or look different, but I wanted to show you guys how I change my tempered glass screen protector on my phone with one hand. So I had to actually use the phone that I charged up for the charging portion of this video. So basically, you can just get these off Amazon. Some come with this and some don't, but I usually opt for the kinds that come with the frame. I used to work at a store in the mall that did like screen protectors for people and stuff like that and sold phone cases. So I used to be a pro at putting these on for people and stuff like that. But now because I am one handed, I need this little frame guy thing. So. To put on a screen protector, you always have to take off your case that you have on. I guess this could be one too, so. I basically push on where the hole in the case is and the edge of it with opposing forces. I'm gonna have to use the table for this, so. And yes, I'm still using this cloth because it's going to help me with my grip and the friction and things like that. Case is off. This is a great opportunity to wipe out the case if you haven't like opened it in a long time. Also the back of your phone if you don't really let it see the light of day very often. There's always going to be some like grimy things or crummy things in there. So, so with this kit, obviously you have the frame that I was talking about. You have the new screen protector that's always protected in like a foam kind of sleeve. And then this one's nice. It comes in its own individual pack. It's um, like alcohol wipes and things like that to clean the screen before you apply the new screen protector. It's always easiest to see the screen when the screen is off. So honestly, when I would take customers' phones, I would always just go ahead and turn it off. That way the screen won't turn on or anything while you're trying to do this. So I just have a Sephora membership card. I'm going to use my body to hold the back of the phone. I'm going to just try and... Ooh, this one's been on here for a really long time. So if you have a crack, it's much easier to go where the crack is. It might break off, but... The longer that the screen protectors are on, the harder they are to get off. So if you need one done, I recommend doing it as soon as you can. Oh, perfect. If you have a piece of glass that did chip off, like I do in this top corner right here, if you can peel like this little plastic underneath part up, that's a much easier route to go to get the rest of it up. So you can get like something underneath of it, like a card. And once you get the card under it, it's very satisfying to peel the rest of it off. It will crack, that's okay. It's garbage anyway, so. Now that that's off, this is going in the trash, so set it aside. Sticky part up so that you know, so it doesn't stick to your surface or anything like that. <laughs> so now I'm gonna open the little packet with the cleaning cloths and stuff. Most of them come with like one that's labeled one and one that's labeled two. Basically one is to clean and the second one is to dry. 
Um, so I'm gonna open the number one side right here. And it comes folded up. Honestly, you can unfold it. You don't really have to, but if you wanna use the whole thing, then I would recommend unfolding it. So I'm just gonna start where I see the most like gunk and dirt and sticky stuff and just work my way all the way around the bone in circular motions. You really wanna make sure that no fuzzies from this material are on the screen. So I like to just pass over the screen a couple times in like one motion so that it gets off of the screen. You can set this aside in case you need it again. Sometimes you do need things like that more than once, but you're gonna grab the dry side. Honestly, when I used to work at that cell phone case store, I used to make the screen as wet as possible and just keep it wet. I never used to use the drying cloths really because I would find that it would just help it seal a lot better. But again, you want to brush over it in one specific direction so that there's no fuzzies. And you really have to be looking closely. That's why I'm so close to it. The tiniest of fuzzies will mess up the whole look of the screen protector. So you just really got to be careful with that. So now I'm going to take the new screen protector. I'm gonna put the old screen protector inside of here just so it's easier to throw out. A little bit more safe because it is glass. It won't get everywhere if it breaks. So on this frame it's nice. It has a little thing that says top and the bottom says bottom so you know what way to put it on. Give it maybe a little blow. Just to make sure that there's nothing on the phone. Because those fuzzies, they come out of nowhere I swear to god. It's like so hard to Make sure that there's none on there, absolutely at all. Once you think that it's all free of fuzzies with the frame on, now I'm gonna go in with the screen protector. So I just take the little tap at the top with my teeth. Put that aside. Give it one more look just in case. And then you, I place it from the bottom usually first, right up against the frame. Sometimes the frame kind of interferes with where it's lying, so I am gonna pop off the frame and then just finish it off a little bit. What we used to do to get any like air bubbles out that were still lingering was take the card with like the dry cloth, put it like in this position if you can see that, fold it over the top and then fold it over the side and pinch it so it's on the side there and just kind of like work on the air bubbles. I don't have any air bubbles this time, thank God, but I am just gonna make sure that it's sticking really good, so. This was my trick that I used to do anyway for all of my customers. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to use your hand to its fullest capabilities to hold as many things at once as you can. These are a bunch of random things. I'm not really sure in what situation you would have to hold these exact things, but you'll get the idea of how to utilize your hand and your fingers while you're out and about to hold as many things as possible. I find that I have to do this mostly when I'm shopping or in stores or things like that. Always, this is the rule of thumb for things that have loops, anything with loops. I can't really think of anything else that does at the moment, but for keys for sure, when it has a loop, always hook it on one of your fingers. I usually choose my pinky just because it's out of the way the best. You really wanna utilize all the spaces between your fingers. So I would personally grab 
the hand sanitizer in between the two fingers that I'm already using. Because the chapstick and the pen are so little and skinny, I'm able to just hold on to them like that. Um, honestly, you could probably just group those three things together and that would be fine. But say you have like bigger things and more things to carry. Say you have a Gatorade bottle too. So then I would grip everything the same, but I would hold on to the hand sanitizer bottle with my lower fingers like that so that I have these two fingers to hold on to the lid of the Gatorade. And there you go. You have one, two, three, four, five things in your hand. This actually happened the other day when I was shopping at the dollar store for a couple things. Actually, I'm gonna go grab those things that I picked up so that I can kind of show you guys what I did at the store. Basically, I was picking up a bottle of stain remover for clothes, um, a candle, and a bottle of juice. So, Basically, I went for the candle first because it was the first aisle in the store. So I was carrying this, walking along. And then I found the stain remover, so I hooked it on my pinky and then I had to go get the juice, so I was walking. And then I was at the juice, so I was like, uh-oh. Like, my hand is already fully being used because this candle is heavy, so I have to hold it with the rest of my fingers. So I put down the stain remover and the candle. I picked up the juice, I put it under my arm, and then I grabbed the candle, and then grabbed the stain remover, and I was good to go. I was walking through the store again. Oh, actually, I'm gonna challenge myself for you guys to see if I can do this. I might not be able to, but <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can carry all the things that I showed you at first and the things that I wanted to pick up at the store, just because this could happen in a real life scenario. So I got my keys, I got my hand sanitizer, I got the chapstick and the pen. Actually, what I'm gonna do is put the chapstick and the pen in between some of my fingers. So the pen's gonna go in between those fingers, chapstick's gonna go in between those two fingers. So my hand looks like this. This is tricky, okay. Especially because I don't have like a good counter to do this on. Um, okay, first I'm gonna pick up the juice with my arm and pick up the candle. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna drop something. And then I have this finger available for the steam remover. All right, <laughs> I didn't know if I'd be able to do that. I don't, I unfortunately skipped out on grabbing the Gatorade. There's no way I'd be able to grab it unless I put it in my mouth like this. I don't know. <laughs> but obviously that's not the best thing for your teeth and it's very uncomfortable and unsanitary if it's in a public place off of like a store shelf. So don't recommend that, but Managed to now hold, I managed to hold seven things with one working arm. Next, we have washing dishes with one hand, which I was going to make a whole separate video on doing this. I figured it won't take too long, so I'm just gonna fit it into this video. So first, I obviously like to take off my jewelry, which usually just rings, place them somewhere safe so they're not close to the sink. Um, but basically, my husband and I have always just hand washed all of our dishes. So we just lay out a microfiber cloth to put them on to dry. My secret tools that I use to wash dishes is any kind of like scrubber brush on a stick that I can use to really get in on the dishes and a scrub mommy or scrub daddy sponge. I will be doing some close-ups so you can see my disgusting dishes, but for utensils, usually I try to move all of my dishes somewhere in the sink so I can have like an open area. Ew. I'm gonna use the sponge side, not the scrubber side. Um, I'm gonna start washing my silverware.
I do just want to say I like the scrub mommy because it's heavy and it stays in place. like a pipe cleaner type thing to clean my straws, so I'll show you that too. so much for watching. I hope that you learned something new, whether it was how to put toothpaste on a toothbrush, how to put a claw clip in your hair, how to change your screen protector, hold as many things as you can in one hand, plug in a phone to be charged, unscrew a bottle of liquid, wash dishes, all with one hand. I hope that you guys took away something from this video. If not, at the very least, you were entertained. <laughs> hopefully. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time Thursday with another video. Okay, bye!